students today we are going to continue the future tense in the previous video we had discussed future continuous tense okay so we will start from future perfect tense okay future perfect tense here the structure of this future perfect tense is subject plus will have with third form of the verb okay the structure of future perfect tense is subject plus will plus have plus third form of the verb now its example is riya will have finished her lunch riya is the subject will have finished finished is the third form of the verb finish okay her lunch okay so riya will have finished her lunch another example they will subject here will have read read is the third form of read 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 is first form read is the second and read third spelling will be the same but when we pronounce we pronounce it as read 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 okay so they will have read this story Okay, this is the example of future perfect tense. Okay, now the next is future perfect continuous tense. That is the last one. That is future perfect continuous tense. Okay, its structure is subject will have be. Verb first form with its ing form. Okay, because it is future perfect continuous, its structure is subject plus will have been verb first form with its ing form. Now the example is I will have been. I will have been. I is the subject. Will have been teaching. Teach is the first form of the verb with its ing form. It is teaching this subject. Another example. We will have been watching. that movie be is the subject here will have be watching that movie before you come okay this is another example of this future perfect continuous tense okay the structure is subject will have been verb first form with its ing form example i will have been be teaching this subject we will have been watching that movie before you come okay so here our future tense is ended okay now our next topic is verbs type of Verbs, or we can say that classes of 
वर्ड्स ओके क्लासेस ऑफ वर्ब्स वर्ब्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू क्लासेस स्ट्रॉन्ग वर्ब्स नेक्स्ट इज वीक वर्ब्स ओके वर्ब्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू क्लासेस स्ट्रॉन्ग वर्ब्स एंड वीक वर्ब्स this is strong verbs are also known as irregular verbs irregular verbs strong verbs you can also called as irregular verbs now weak verbs another name of weak weak verbs are regular verbs okay so there are two classes of verbs strong verbs or irregular verbs weak verbs or regular verbs okay so let us start with the first word that is strong verbs or irregular verbs okay now strong verbs all verbs do not use ed d or t to break their past form okay all verbs do not use this ed d or t to break the past form of their present okay so these verbs are known as strong verbs or we can say that the verbs that form their past tense by merely changing their vowels in present form okay if they are changing vowels to make past form from present tense then they are known as strong verbs okay or irregular verbs strong verbs are the verbs which change their vowels in their present form to make their past form okay example example is speak speak is the present form and its past form is spoke okay that that's throw its past form is threw okay then next its past form is for god so here you can see the example the vowels are changed here okay this is the present form and this past here the past form is made by changing the vowel in their present form okay another example begin its past form is began okay so in all these examples we can see that the vowels are changed and their past forms are made okay now next second are weak verbs or regular verbs weak verbs or its another name is regular verbs okay so weak verbs and regular verbs form their past tense by adding ed d or t in their present form okay weak verbs or regular verbs are formed by adding ed d 
or T in their present form to form their past tense. Okay, or maybe verbal, maybe change or not. Okay, both conditions are there. Maybe verbal, maybe change or not. It's not compulsory that verbal must be changed. No. Okay, maybe it will change or not. Okay. And the weak verbs or the regular verbs are the verbs which are formed or which form their past tense by adding ed, d or t in their present form. Okay. Example. Paul. Its past form is called. Okay. Here. E we are adding to make its past form. Another example, send. Its past form is send. Here in place of D, T is there and send is the past form of this send. Okay? Say. Send. Its past form is said. Then pull. Past form of pull is pull. Okay. So like that many examples are there which shows the weak verbs or regular verbs. How to make that weak verbs or regular verbs? By adding ed, d or t in their present form. Or verbs may be changed or not. Okay, so there are two classes of verbs that is strong verbs and weak verbs. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.